Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the factors affecting signals guys. Okay, signal design. Okay, yes. So let us start. So basically, whenever we are discussing this topic, this is one of the most basic topic you can say. Okay, so the first parameter which is a geometrical parameter guys. So the shapes and all those things will be coming in this geometric. So the number of approaching roads number of lanes width of each lane intersection angle of approaching roads location of the signal so basically these all will affect so basically at that junction all the roads will meet right so everyone should meet in a proper way and the, sorry and the construction of the junction should also be in the proper way right yes so that is the reason why you need to check the count. So basically if there are seven roads also coming in some situation there will be. So basically seven will be a bit over. So five or six assuming that guess. Even five I noticed six also there could be a chance right. Yes. So like that whenever they are meeting. So in that situation the road design should be done in that way only. Uh, even the signals should be a bit like that only right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So next operating operational characteristics of our vehicles that is traffic flow rate during the peak hours traffic composition. Okay. Stationary flow. Similarly level of service volume of capacity ratio. So these all will be considered here guys. Okay. So basically operational characteristics are nothing but in live what are the things like uh, traffic flow. What are the things which will be considering in live. Okay. Similarly operating sorry operational characteristics for pedestrians so what is the tra traffic or what is the volume of the pedestrians so those things will be considering here so pedestrian traffic volume or walking speed of pedestrians so those two will be considered because in a traffic signal so we will be also having the pedestrian signal right so it will be giving t t t t like that right yes so at that time they will be crossing the road right yes so that is the pedestrian so basically depending on their speed depending on the distance between the road so assume that here this is the road and this is the road so it is just a really short so in that situation the time could be shorter if it is a 2 FR, so in that situation, it, it, you should give some more time like that. So it depends on that also. Similarly, design volumes. Okay. So the current traffic is a pro projected to a 20 years of future period. Okay. So the projected traffic volume is used to determine the sig signal facing cycle using the signal timings. Okay. Yes. So this is also a thing. Similarly, air quality. So air quality should be assessed based on the level of a carbon monoxide due to traffic volume so basically even in some places wherever the traffic is a bit high or any kind of popular places okay so in that in those places we will be keeping the air quality sensors also so you will be saying that this much percentage of a noise is there this much percentage of carbon monoxide is there like that okay yes similarly constituents of construction okay so like uh, how you are getting money fundings and all those things so funding the space consideration and all those things okay yes so these are all the characteristics which will be considered while designing a signal guys okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we'll be going through some definitions so that we will be having a clear idea about the signal timing so how you can decide the timing so these are some basic terminology you can say okay so we'll be discussing about them in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching